Hey everybody, welcome back to my vlog for today. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're all staying safe as usual. Um, today's Monday, so I'm bringing back stories of online dating. And uh, the reason being is because I had another, um, I say, I would call it an issue with another girl. Uh, like it never fails. I, I always have problems with girls lately. Uh, for the past couple of years I have. Um, so anyways, I'm on POF. And um, I started talking to this girl on POF, and things were going well. And um, I'll just kind of run through the conversation real quick. <clears throat> Conversations real quick. So I started off by saying, hey, I'm Brandon. How's it going? She said her name is such. I'm not going to use her name. Um, her name is such and such, and it's going. I said, that's good and nice to meet you. And I said, are you in the U.S.? And I said, I'm sorry if that was a dumb question. Then I said, well, if you want to talk more, give me a text, and I gave her my number. Finally, she replied, she said, I do live in the U.S., and it's not a dumb question considering we live so close to Canada. And I said, okay, cool, I just wondered. And yeah, we do really live close. And she asked me, she said, so how are you tonight? I said, pretty good, just working on an online class. How are you doing? And a little, like five minutes later, she said, I'm okay, I'm watching Jungle Book to my son fell asleep. I just said, oh, nice, is it a good movie, and how old is your son? And then she didn't text me back for almost an hour. So I said, is everything okay? She said, yeah, it's a good movie. It's a cute Disney animation. Anyways, everything is okay. And I said, okay, I see. Well, that's cool and good. I didn't know if I was bothering you, that's all. She said, no, you're not a bother, so what are you going to school for? And I basically told her I was just taking online classes um, for web development. And she said, that's cool. I said, yes, I enjoy it. I said, so I'm going to get to bed soon. Can we, cool if we talk tomorrow? She said, yes, we can talk tomorrow. I have to go to Tonawanda to set up a surprise party for her best friend. So I said, oh, that's cool. You'll be in my neck of the woods then. And she said, yeah, for a little bit. I said, nice, sounds fun. And then it goes into the next day. This is on the 13th, and uh, I just said, hey, how's it going? And she texted me back saying, it's going, hopefully people start showing up so I can get this party started and leave. And then right after that, I didn't say anything, but here's the kicker, she gave me her phone number without me asking. And I said, okay, I'll text you in a sec. So we move on to texting. And I said, hey, it's Brandon. She said, hey, it's, you know, such and such. Um, I said, how's it going? She said, it's going. I said, that's good. Sounds like you're ready to leave that party. She said she didn't even want to be around her friend right now. She just wanted to get her money's worth out of the party. I guess she spent a decent amount of money in the party. Um, so I said, oh, you got to get your money's worth out of it. She said, yep. I said, what are you doing after? She said, I don't know, I'm going home and smoking a blunt, which right there to me is a turn off because I don't smoke weed. I don't. Um, I said, so would you ever want to meet up sometime? She said, sure, we can meet up. If I brought back, if I brought my smoke, I would stop by on the way back, which I'm glad she didn't because I don't want that stuff in my apartment. Um, there's, there's no way that's ever going to be in my apartment. So I said, okay, cool. Where can we meet? She said, she said, I don't know, do you drive? If not, I can pick you up and we can go smoke at my house or something. Again, with the smoking. I'm not into it, it's not my thing. Um, so I told her, you know, I don't smoke weed. And I said, is that an issue? She said, no, it's not an issue. I said, okay, cool. And, and then I said, did you really want to smoke? Because you could just hang out here since she's already in Tonawanda. Um, she said, sorry, I'm still at my friend's party. I said, okay, we'll have fun. And uh, let me know if you still want to chill after. And then she said, okay, I will. So then after that, shortly after that, she actually called me um, to confirm our plans for that night. She said she was heading back soon and had to get her, her son ready um, because her son was having a sleepover. So after that, about three hours went by. And at this point in the game, um, I've had this happen to me so many times that I knew exactly what was going to happen. Either If I didn't text her, she would have never texted me back. 
she was probably just going to leave it at that. So some, somewhere something intervened because I waited those couple hours to hear back from her to get directions to her place to go hang out with her like she said we, we could do. And then, um, at, you know, three hours after the phone call of her confirming us hanging out, um, I texted her. I said, are we still hanging out tonight? Now, she replies to me uh, a couple minutes later, and she said, I just got done cleaning my vomit from all over. I can't tonight. So, there's a lot of things I could say about that. Uh, one, she never mentioned anything about being ill or sick or anything like that. Um, so I don't buy it, and I don't buy it because it's happened to me a lot. This is a pattern which, that's happening with me with these girls, is that the conversation starts to go okay, but once we get to the point where we're going to meet up, there's always a last-minute excuse. Uh, this has been happening for a long time now. Um, I know why it's happening, and it's just not going to stop, apparently. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, I am talking to somebody else as well, but I'm not going to mention their name, and I'm definitely not going to get my hopes up for uh, meeting her. Uh, I'm not getting my hopes up for anything anymore, um, especially when stuff like this keeps happening. Um, I mean, she, she gave me her number. She actually called me, too, to confirm, and then all of a sudden she's puking all over the place and just had to clean it up. I mean, I understand things happen, right? But I'm not an idiot. Um, I've had this happen to me multiple times. Different excuses every time. If I don't get an excuse, I get silence. Um, I just get ghosted. Which makes me wonder why girls in a, it would even start talking to me in the first place. Um, as far as me getting a girlfriend goes, I don't think that's going to happen for a very long time, if at all, ever again. Um, so the only thing I can do is... I guess adapt and um, not overcome but just accept the situation for what it is and um, there's nothing I can do. I've tried to do things to change the situation and uh, I've had no success with that. So anyhow, um, I figured that would be a good uh, story to bring back, uh, stories of online dating. Um, I'm not sure which episode this is, I gotta find out, because I haven't done one in a while. Um, I just remember that usually that was Monday's segment, so I'm just really, really um, sick of it. I'm getting tired of it. Um, girls will go all the way to the very end and then just, and then, um, you know, I get my hopes up for nothing. Truth be told, I didn't really want to go to the girl's house because I had a feeling that something was going to happen. Basically, like I said, I'm not getting my hopes up anymore, um, and I'm glad I, I didn't. I'm just, the only reason why I'm irritated is because it just keeps happening. The same thing keeps happening with different girls. You know, things seem promising at the beginning, and then all of a sudden, you know, there's this, ha this happened, or that happened, or they can't do this now, or they can't do that now. That, and they don't tell me until I text them. So if I didn't, like I said, if I didn't text her, she would have never said anything to me. Um, and the whole story with her cleaning up her vomit that was all over the place, like, give me a break, right? I mean, come on. I mean, I'm, I'm not a dummy. Um, you know, it's just, it came out of the blues, out of nowhere. Just like, that was one of the worst excuses that I've actually heard so far. Um, so, I don't know. I, uh, just, like I said, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um as far as bringing back stories of online dating um, and how much uh, how irritated I am about things it, it just seems my luck with girls is never going to change um, so I don't know I don't know what to do anymore but um, I'm still going to do this segment of the vlog every Monday uh, because I'm not going to give up I, I hope there's a girl out there for me um, I really really do hope so because I'm not getting any younger, and uh, you know, dating in your 30s is is pretty tough. Um, so I don't know. I'll try. I'm trying to figure out what I can uh, do to make things better, and um, hopefully have a brighter future. So, anyways, 
Um, on that note, uh, that's going to be it for me for this vlog. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any thoughts or whatever, leave me a comment. Um, that and consider subscribing as usual. Uh, if you do, I appreciate it. Um, that and um, I guess that's it for now. So I'll, I will catch you guys in the next one.